so let us proceed with our next question under the exercise 2 whereby we had copied our information from sheet 1 to sheet 2 and the next question was saying that we rename sheet 2 as total so we just go back to our application we right click under sheet 2 then we click rename then we type total because we are instructed to rename sheet 2 as total so you just right click then you rename sheet 2 as total so after that we proceed to the next question which says we sort the data in the sheet named totals by the column titled course in descending order and then by frequency in ascending order so we sort the data in the sheet named totals by the column titled course in descending order and then by frequency in ascending order so we'll go back to our application we highlight the information we highlight all the data from cell a1 to d8 we click to sort and filter then we click custom sort click custom sort so i've seen that we highlight all the data information we click sort and filter then we click custom sort we are requesting to sort the data by the column titled course in descending order descending is from the largest to the smallest which is z to a then you click and level so then we sort the data by the column titled frequency in ascending order which is smallest to largest so after we have the order which is smallest to largest we just press ok and we have our information so after that we proceed to the next question we proceed to the next question which says uh, insert two rows above row one in the sheet named totals we insert two rows above row one so we go back to application we right click row one then we press insert we right click again and press insert so we have inserted two rows above the initial row one so we highlight the two inserted column rows then we go to borders and apply all borders so after that we proceed to the next question which says we insert a picture of a doctor in the sheet named totals in the cell range b1 to c2 so we go back to our application i click on cell b1 then we click on insert then we click clip art we are requesting to insert a picture of a doctor so under the search we type doctor type doctors we search for doctors then we have the picture for the doctor so you just press the picture so press the picture of the doctor it is loading yeah so once we apply the picture for the doctor it is requesting that we apply it from cell b1 to c2 here so you just press the picture then you minimize that particular picture we minimize it then we extend because we want it to fit the cell range b1 up to c2 so you make sure that that specific picture fits cell b1 to cell c2 so after that we will proceed to the next question which says 
that uh, we use an appropriate feature to lock the cells C2 to D9 with the pass 1 doctor in the sheet named TOTOS we use an appropriate feature to lock cell C2 to D9 with the pass 1 doctor so we go back to our application we need to highlight cell C2 to D9 and since the picture or the clip art is blocking the area from cell C2 we highlight from cell D9 upwards so you click on D9 then you highlight going upwards up to cell C2 after that we click on format then we click on protect sheet then we type our password to protect that particular area so we are told to use the password doctor so i type doctor you press ok then you re-enter the password that is to confirm the password so you write again doctor then you press ok so we have protected that specific area so no one can be able to access or to edit the data under the protected area for example i'll try to type and you can see that the cell or the chart that you are trying to change is protected and therefore read only so to modify a protected cell or chart first remove protection using the unprotect sheet command so no one can be able to edit that particular information because it has been secured by a password so after that we proceed to the next question which says that we insert an embedded bar chart showing the percentage frequency against the course in sheet one then we label the chart appropriately so we insert an embedded bar chart showing the percentage frequency against the course in sheet one so we'll go to our program that is the excel program then we click on sheet one so we highlight the information from say from the column titled course so i select coming down ones i press control you long press control then you select the information under the column titled percentage frequency once you highlight that particular information you go to insert as per the question which says that you insert an embedded bar chart so you highlight that specific columns the course and the percentage frequency then you click on insert you go to bar chart then you can click the first one so we have our bar chart so we have what we term as chart layouts once you uh, we insert the bar chart you click on the chart layout then you can be able to choose the best layout that you wish that you would prefer to use and after applying that specific chart layout you can maybe go to the chart styles then you can be able to choose any style that you wish or that you would prefer to use so for me i would prefer that one and i'll go back to the question which says save the changes to print out later so i'll just click file then i click save so that is the end of our exercise two so thanks for thanks for participating in watching this particular video don't forget to subscribe and like we would be sharing more educational videos thanks so much for being part of dante computer solutions thank you